I'm Dan and I've been designing kitchen gadgets for more than 40 years. I'm gonna test some decorating gadgets and see if I can find a way to make them better. Maybe I would make that shaft just a little bit wider, put the handle here, and that would squeeze down this way. And of course, what would make a lot of sense is if it was shaped something like that. These are the products I am going to test. Cake shapers, icing pen, push cookie cutter, food coloring pens, cupcake core. Cake shapers. In front of me now are some cake shapers. These are silicone units that can be plugged together to turn your cake into any shape. So let's create a shape. I'm gonna go with a heart. Rather than click these together like that, could make more sense to angle them so we get a sharper point to the heart. I'm going to start pouring. Let's see if it leaks when I do it. The weight of the batter is modifying my heart shape. Can I correct for that? Let's see. Let's push that in a bit and see if it stays. Yeah, talk about a bleeding heart. It is just pushing itself into a circle. What do you all think of an acorn shaped cake? Just what I was going for. Let's bake it. We have now our misshapen heart. Let's take the shape maker off. So it was able to do that, and I'm a little disappointed that it wasn't able to make a heart. I still would love to eat it. You already broke my heart, so there. It tastes fine. Not sure you four guys did your job. Let's see how that compares to using a regular cake pan. And because I tried a heart, I am going to use a heart-shaped cake pan. I have in front of me a heart-shaped cake pan filled with a heart-shaped cake. So I feel like it's a success. And yeah, that's what I was going for. Tastes just as excellent, but I'm just feeling a little more love. In terms of effectiveness, it's funny. If you really want to use it to make a shape, I would say no way, because it's just not gonna hold its shape. It did not live up to the promise, so one out of five. Let's test its usability using my slippery left hand. Once again, cross these over so I can use it as the point of the heart. It's a little hard to keep these together. This time I'm going to do more pouring, more than using the spatula. And you can see I'm losing the shape. Did I expect to see something different? No. Was it worth doing the left-handed oil test? Yes, because now the crew and I have more cake to eat. In terms of usability, I wasn't happy with that performance of clicking this together and definitely not happy with the performance of trying to make a shape with it. So I would give usability a one. My heart is broken. Let's talk about a redesign. I would look at ways to make these two parts click together more securely so that as you're trying to make a shape, they don't just tear apart. I think part of it would be maybe round some of these shapes, maybe round the edges of this, because that would make it a little more flexible. This has some thicker and thinner parts, and that is, I'm sure, to make it flexible in areas. I would put the Y part here and the Y part here. I would rearrange these so that there's a thin part in the middle or maybe nothing in the middle so that you can get more of a corner. But I think a bigger improvement would be to make something that would keep these pieces supported. Maybe it's a suction cup type thing that you can put in various places to help this hold its shape. That's gonna be a few extra pieces to this, but I think that's gonna make you a lot happier. In terms of a buy rating, I would give the cake shapers a two out of five. If you don't have a round cake pan, you wanna make a round cake, I think this makes a circle, no problem. But in terms of what it promises, like you can make any shape you want out of these, I just don't think it held up to that promise. This relationship was a flop. Icing pen. It's designed to give you a little more control as you are icing. The heart is back, it's iced up, and it is ready to be decorated. I've got to say, squeezing this is kind of hard, but that's a function of this nozzle. We, whoa, it's coming out the back. There's a problem. What happened is uh, there was so much pressure applied to this tip, and the tip is pretty fine. The icing pushed itself out the back instead of out the front. We're gonna give the icing pen a second chance. We have a larger tip, and maybe this tip is more appropriate for the thickness of the icing that we're using. Let's just go around the cake. Oh, and I can feel this feels a lot different. Not nearly as much pressure is needed. 
Let's compare the icing pen to a more traditional icing bag. In terms of effectiveness, from one to five, I would give it a two. Well, for one thing, it popped out the bottom, so that wasn't very effective. For another thing, look how much chocolate I'm gonna have left over. The chocolate that is squishing out to the sides is not gonna be coming out the nozzle unless I go in and revise the way that this is loaded into the pen. It's got some advantages, I think, in terms of working like a pen, in terms of being held like a pen, but I think it has enough disadvantages not even to bring it up to the three mark. It's time for the left-handed oil test, and I think this product would be a really good candidate for doing that. I know from using my right hand that I already have some challenges. First of all, when this bag was full, this handle was far out here. That was quite a stretch. I can also feel that since there are no flat areas on this, this is kind of slipping out of control. And I can feel that it's quite a tough squeeze. I notice that with my right hands. So yeah, I'm not having any fun doing this. But I also feel like now I'm bottomed out, but I am not getting any frosting out. Uh, I feel like too, it's coming out the bottom. Another icing pen accident. It's not doing what I wanted to do. I think at this point I would give up and go back to the icing bag. Here's the message I think I should write on this. S O S. In terms of usability, I was really disappointed. I've got to give it a one out of five. It was just a mess. Let's discuss a redesign for this guy, and this really needs to be thought out. It would be great if there wasn't such a stretch for your hand and things were a little more even. It would be worth a try to figure out something that would allow all four fingers to contribute evenly and work their way down this way. I would shoot for something that would put the handle here and that would squeeze down this way. And something that would gracefully force the icing out the front. Gotta work on the mechanism that does that, but it's definitely possible. The other thing to watch is that the bag was just oozing out the side. You may wanna consider have these sides come up enough so that the bag is not going to exit out the sides. This is a little difficult for an instant answer, but it is a project, I think it's possible. It's gonna take a little more thinking than was put into this one. In terms of a buy rating, let's give it a two out of five. The promise exceeds the delivery. Sorry, but I expected much more from you. Push, cookie cutter. The way these work is there's a spring action here that will push out this inner shape. Let's see how effective they are. Press, hold this in place, lift, and we came up with a cookie cutter, but that's no problem. Let's try teddy bear. And the bear also came up, no problem. Boy, they both look pretty good in terms of definition. Horsey. Okay, well that worked, although I'm gonna have to peel it up from the table, but no problem. Horse is ready to go. I called this a horse. It is obviously a unicorn. Horses do not have horns. And my favorite, the llama. I'd say that was pretty successful. Getting the dough at the right consistency is gonna really help uh, the definition. And assuming you wanna bite off the little heads of cute little animals, I think this is working okay. Time for baking. So success, I have in front of me uh, two of each animal, just like Noah would have baked cookies. Let's see how they taste. Let's try the dinosaur. I don't feel guilty at all, because I feel like if the dinosaur saw me, it would eat me without question. Let's see how the push cookie cutters compare with more traditional animal shaped cookie cutters. In terms of effectiveness on a scale of one to five, I would give the push cookie cutters a five. They turned out cute little cookies. That's reason enough. Let's test its usability. The idea behind the left-handed oil test is to really challenge your strength and dexterity and ability to control this device. I'm gonna favor my left hand because I'm right-handed. Let me push that down. I will lift this up with my right hand. That seemed a little sticky. I have a pretty good looking unicorn smiling at me. Let's try it again. This time with the bear. I will maybe flip what I was doing, try it with my other hand. There's really no physical effort to this at all. 
the cleanability it may be a little tricky, but in terms of just making the cookies themselves, no problem. In terms of usability, I'm gonna knock it down to a four only because they're a little more difficult to clean. I'm just gonna give it one demerit, but I don't think you'd have a big problem using these. Let's talk about a redesign. And I don't think there's very much I would do. This spring and the shaft here looks a little flimsy. Maybe I would make that shaft just a little bit wider, which means a little bit wider spring. And there is a little flange here that comes up. Maybe make that flange a little bit taller so it doesn't wobble as much. This shape seems a little odd. I think just for fun, I would make this look more like a, a plunger shape, kind of like a mushroom cap. I wonder if this could be made from a silicone rubber. That would give a little more flexibility when you're trying to clean it. When you lift this, I think it could just feel a little better. Instead of having a thin lip here, I think I would make that a little bit bigger and rounder and put a radius here. I think that would feel a little better and be just a little bit easier to clean. I know what your comments say. Yeah, but how do you clean it? There, I went to the cleaning part. In terms of a buy rating, I would give the Animal Push Cookie Cutters a five out of five. And it really depends on your situation. Let's say you have kids in the house, and you're having trouble getting them to eat cookies, then yeah, I think these work. They're kind of fun, they're kind of cute. If you like cute, yeah, five out of five. Food coloring pens. In front of me is a set of food decorating pens. Their purpose in life is to allow you to draw on your food. One thing to notice is it has a cap on either side. This is a paintbrush kind of thing. This side is more of a finer tip pen. Let's see how effective they are. Let's start with the giraffe. I'm gonna give it some brown spots because it is a giraffe. It's working pretty well on the icing. Let's keep going. Let's make the whole thing orange. And what I am ending up with is a cookie in full living color. Let's give it a happy little mouth. Let's go with the finer point for the eye. That's adorable. Rainbow. I could have been a little bit neater with that, but you get the idea that this will work on icing. What color for the unicorn? Pink. I don't know, this tip could be a little sharper. That's better. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Off with its head. The value of this artwork just went down considerably. I'm gonna leave these last two to auction off to the highest bidder. Let's see how the decorating pens compare with using a piping bag with a tip. The pens definitely have more room for self-expression on your cookies. For effectiveness rating, I would give the pens a five out of five. I think they work really well, assuming you're using some vanilla icing. Let's try the pens again, this time with a slippery left hand. One of the things you'll notice is that, partly because this cap is tapered, that it is difficult to get a handle on it. <laughs> Let's try this. Okay, I got it. If I start to draw on something, like let's make the green alligator green, I can just feel a lack of control because this is round and you know anything I push on here is just gonna slip right up that way. If I try to put the cap on, notice I have the same problem. For usability of the pens, I would give it a three out of five. That puts it right down the middle. Three isn't bad, but I do think there's room for improvement. In terms of the performance of the pens on icing, I kind of like that. That was kind of fun. So let's talk about a redesign. These are pretty basic shapes. I think I would opt for a wider pen, a thicker pen, because that would be easier to hold. In terms of the cap, I would definitely do something different there. Of course, what would make a lot of sense is if it was shaped something like that, we'd have to look at the cost of molding this into a shape. That I think would be more conducive to using different colors and getting the caps back on like your mother told you you're supposed to. I would put a symbol on here. Let's do a symbol here that looks like the brush tip. And let's put a symbol here that looks like the fine tip. Pretty simple changes, but I think it would improve usability. For a buy rating, I would give the decorating pens a four out of five. If you wanna color your cookies, this is the way to go. Cupcake, Cora. In front of me now are two cupcake corers. Their purpose in life is to core cupcakes or muffins. Today we're gonna do cupcakes because I like cupcakes. I've got three cupcakes here ready to be cored and filled and recored. I'm gonna do one. That core should come out. 
which it did. I've got some chocolate filling. I'm not gonna overfill it because I've got to put the core back inside. Push that core out. And I have a chocolate filled cupcake. That went pretty easily. Let's try super overfilling because I'm a little surprised that the cores sunk in more than I expected. More, more, more. Retop it. That ended up being a little messy. I think I should have either filled a bit less and ended up with this, or just kept the core out and eat the core and have the chocolate stick out in the middle. Let's just give it a dot, like a swirl on top. That looks pretty presentable and edible. Let's see now what it looks like inside. I'm gonna do a cross section. I would think that amount of chocolate that I did the first time around is appropriate. That works fine. If you love chocolate, you can go this route. I love chocolate. Tastes fine. Let's say you don't have a cupcake corer at home. Let's compare it to a paring knife. This test isn't fair unless somebody tastes it. That would be me. Just as good, nice work. I think we saved some plastic. It is a five out of five in terms of being effective. It is able to core whatever you want to core. That's just soft cake-like stuff. So I'm not gonna bother trying this with my left hand slippery because I don't think I'm really gonna learn anything. It is what it is. It's pretty simple. There's no force involved. In terms of usability, I'm gonna drop it down quite a bit. You are confined to this diameter of opening when you wanna fill it, three for usability. So let's talk about a redesign, and I'm really uh, tossed about this because this is a product that really doesn't need to exist. So let's get to the core of the problem. One of the things that's questionable is the fact that this plunger requires your finger to go deep into this cylinder, so you don't see really where it's positioned. For one thing, I think that insert needs to be longer, it needs to protrude, and maybe in a way that actually indicates how deep in you're going. Maybe even with some markings or some stripes on it, that seems like a little more plastic, so I would question the height of this part of it. I think this would be an improvement, but I'm not sold on it. In terms of a buy rating for the cupcake car, I'm gonna give it a one out of five. I think this is a solution in search of a problem. If I got one of these, I would be filled with regret. There were a couple of misses and just a couple of hits here. I think the hits were anything that were related to animal shapes, like the cookie cutters and the pens where you can draw on your animal shapes and color them in. The others, not so much. More miss than hit. 